pienso de que sí, ya es un gran... Se siente bien estar en este país y que ya en esta edad de, de mi vida se dé esa oportunidad de que por fin Monseñor Romero ya sea beatificado. I saw him in such a deep prayer that I said to myself in that moment, this man, I have to follow this man because he's following God. Romero has become the Salvador personality of the century. Para mí el hecho de que el Papa haya decidido hacer esto de poder beatificar, de nombrar mártir a Monseñor Romero, pronto beatificarlo. Esta no es una noticia muy buena, porque es una noticia que nos motiva a los jóvenes. Este fue el pasado, nos marcó bastante a todos los salvadoreños y él fue como la voz de todos. He is San Romero de América, Holy Romero of America. God, you are everything and I am nothing, but with your everything and my nothing, we are going to do so much. Oscar Romero was appointed Archbishop to San Salvador in February of 1977. At the time of his appointment, many people in the church feared that he would change the kind of way that the church had been supporting the poor and the oppressed. Just a few weeks after his appointment as Archbishop, one of his greatest friends, Father Rutilio Grande, was brutally murdered as he was driving along the road to visit one of his outlying chapels. Almost overnight, it seemed that a transformation took place within the Archbishop, within Oscar Romero. The rich people who had celebrated his election as Archbishop began to see him as someone who might start to challenge their interests. For him, human rights were divine rights also, because as you know, man has been created in similar way to God. Romero was in favor of change in El Salvador for justice. Que Monseñor Romero, teniéndolo todo, él decidió ayudar a los pobres. When he was visiting the parishes in the outskirts of El Salvador, the poor neighborhoods, people were terribly uh, aware of the fact that the real church was with them. Somebody said to him, Bishop, when are you going to finish this, uh, this fight with the government? And Bishop Romero said, I don't have any fight with the government. The people have to fight with the government, and I am beside the people. He was afraid and he, he feared for his life, his own life. On the evening of Monday, the 24th of March in 1980, Archbishop Romero was celebrating Mass in the chapel of the Hospital of Divine Providence, where he lived. He must have noticed a car drawing up at the door of the church. A marksman came out of the car and took aim and fired directly at the Archbishop. After the shooting of Bishop Romero, uh, for me was terrible, for so many persons was terrible. And uh, the people, the poor people said, who is going to defend us now? The situation was getting worse and worse until the civil war started one year later. Y él sabía, sabía de que lo iban a matar por sus decisiones. No le importó y apoyó al, al, a los pobres hasta el último día de su vida. It took more than 20 years for the process of beatification to reach the point where Pope Francis declared that Archbishop Romero was indeed a martyr and as such that his beatification would follow soon. El Salvador and the whole of Central America and not the whole of Latin America have been waiting for this event for 35 years already. Entonces, eh, qué, ¿quién es para mí Monseñor Romero y lo que ha firmado el Papa en esos últimos días? Archbishop Romero died for justice he died because he was a man who spoke the truth and he defended the poor. He was a saint, he was a man of God, he was a man of the church and a man for the poor people.